Here is why I think Puppet Chapter 1 is hands down the best chapter in the game, map-wise. So, you know, it, it presents a good challenge for first-time players. I mean, it, it, obviously, in the background footage, I'm going to be freaking going crazy. I'm going to pretty much be speedrunning this, you know, game. And, sure, I, I, I'll admit, it is a pretty easy map if you have an AI. But I'm going to be talking up through the player's stance as, like, the a player puppet. It's pr a pretty decently well-balanced, uh, what do you call it? If, you, if you're against a player, it's pretty well-balanced, in my opinion. Um... For example, the, the perfect combination for locks. I mean, you have your basic three, your ranch, your hammer, your white key, obviously. You have your perfect combo. Yeah, combination of locks. And it, it's not too much. Uh, they have this the just right amount of items, in my opinion. And I think the um, whole system where... The puppet has to stop to unlock the door. Even if it's a player, it has to stop, unlock the door. Yeah, I think that works pretty well, even on the player standpoint, especially in this map, because it's pretty cramped upstairs. I mean, if you right now, if you're looking through the background footage, I'm literally walking in a spot where I if. The player, because players have janky hitboxes. Uh, that's the one issue I have with this game, is the janky hitbox if you're a player puppet. But other than that, like, you're pretty well set if, in this case, let's say, you get up there, all you have to do is shut a door, and they can't just click the door and open it like they could in freaking Piggy. They just open up the door easily. Like you don't do that. You have to, you have to sit there and wait for a ant, like a sound to stop playing, and then the door opens up for you. I think that's perfect. For uh, it gives a puppet a good challenge because there's a lot of ways to get a, get away from the puppet in this game, or in this map, especially like between that bathroom and that master bedroom. I think honestly that's perfect because. It's you. You can get away easier. You can get away a lot easier, and then the puppet can't just. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna trap you in the corner and make you scream my name. No, <laughs> but you, you get the you get the gist of it. And then like you have these drops up here. You know you have the plank, and then you have that drop over there. I think that works pretty well. I mean the puppet has to go all the way around, sure, but. You know, like I said, janky hitboxes lead to uh, the need of uh, some good quick escape routes. So it's good for the player. It benefits the player. They are, obviously have the crawl space down underneath. That works really well. I mean, sure, they need to do something about... They, they should have added like they did. I can't remember which game it was, but like the, they were poisonous. The air was poison. And if you sat in the vent too long, that you would get poisoned and... You would start to uh, you die if you sat in there too long. So to prevent camping. Now, obviously, with infected mode, that I mean, that's they didn't plan on infected mode until late into the development. They didn't add that, so obviously you can't just go in and say, "Oh yeah, you know, infected, bro." Like, yeah, they didn't plan on that. But I don't think it'd matter anyways, because you know, infected kind of sucks. But yeah, overall, I would say this is a pretty well-balanced map. I mean, it adds a challenge for the puppet, especially the bot. If you see that I'm you know, playing Ring Around the Rosie on the couch, it's literally just freaking bugging out, trying to figure out how to the quickest route to get to me. You know, players, they obviously they can camp the door, but that just that's just that's just the players. And then you have the good challenge for the players between the puppets. I just say it's pretty well overall balanced game. I think chapter one really just shows you the not only lore wise. I'm not going to talk about lore in this video. That'll be a separate video talking about the house map. But I think 
Puppet Chapter 1 is the best map. And, like, sure, you might not... You might not like it, but I think it's the best if you want to play player versus player, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. You Tell me what you think in the comments below. I will certainly read them, and I might tell you. Uh, I might. Uh, I'll, I'll, t I'll certainly take some criticism there, but you guys tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.